Hi everyone. So first of all, I'll want you to know that as usual in the INI CT paper, radiology is more or less integrated. Now I've always told you that radiology has more questions in NEET PG as compared to INI CT. INI CT has more questions on basic sciences and less questions on clinical sciences. Short subjects are less in INI CT and in the short subjects, radiology is usually asked in a integrated fashion. Radiology is, in, is usually asked in a integrated fashion. So what I'll do is I'll show you the questions. There were only a few questions in radiology and we'll quickly tell you the answers and discuss with you if you have any difference. Now this question had uh, maybe a child with breathlessness has uh, taken in a foreign body and uh, x-ray PA and lateral view of the x-ray chest was shown to you. You can see in the x-ray the the foreign body is seen in its full circumference in the AP view and it's seen like a slit in the lateral view. The foreign body appears to have an inner ring and appears to have slight bevel in the lateral view. Both of these findings point towards a button battery. And you know, if you remember, we've discussed this in our emergency room also that when I predicted to you, when I was showing you the emergency room in the damn short courses, I predicted that every time they are asking coin, next time they will ask you button battery. That means this time they have asked you button battery, which has an inner ring a beveled edge on the lateral view which is more caustic it is more caustic and more corrosive has to be removed so the answer to the question was button battery i have talked a lot to the students i have you know tried my best to recall from the students on the different social media platforms and 90% of the people agree it was a pa and lateral view with uh, you know a inner ring and button battery is most likely the correct answer now just to show you what we discussed in the class. This is what we discussed in the class, where if you remember. Is is? Is so this is where in the emergency room in the class I showed you that this is how the coin will look like. I, I've just tried to record from the phone just to show you. And in the class I told you that, you know, if it looks like a full circle, it must be in the esophagus. And we discussed that next time they might ask you a magnet also or a... a you know a button battery as well because of the inner ring this particular question that is there in your emergency room in your short courses so i always recommend before inict we should revise the emergency room and integrated rounds from your e-medicos app short courses these are very high yield these are short short questions very often asked so this is there in your emergency room where i told you how to differentiate a coin and a button battery okay so my reason to show you this is because I want you to learn from this paper. Whenever we give a paper, it has some learnings also. You know, it has an outcome that what will be my rank, what will not be my rank. But it has some learning also. If I'm able to learn from it and implement in a subsequent exam, I do better. So you can actually implement it. Don't miss DAMS emergency room from short courses before an INICT or NEET PG exam. Every year from the short course, I get one or two questions at least. You know, this is a direct emergency, pediatric emergency, ingested foreign body. This was a button battery. And I predicted that in the emergency room, that next time they will ask you button battery. And this time they have asked you button battery. Okay. Next question that I wanted to show you is this. So this is a question that we've discussed, I think, at length in our classes. If you remember in our class, I showed you a ligament, which is connecting uh, in the intercondylar notch from the femur to the posterior part of the tibia. So this is our regular class. We discussed that they can ask you ACL or PCL. This was posterior cruciate ligament and the choices were patellar tendon, medial collateral ligament, ACL, PCL. Okay. I, I know Rishabh Chopra is saying, sir, what was the cap of the bottle? It will not be like that. It will not be like that. It will not be like that. Some children have been wrong, so they are going to go back to it. That was definitely button battery. It was a predicted question. There was nothing new in it. It was not that. हमारे आप देखोगे आप वापस जाके इट वाज ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू मल्टीपल टाइम्स आईएनआईसीटी में आएगा ओके नेक्स्ट इस एसीएल या कि पीसीएल है एसीएल विल बी अ फैन लाइक लिगामेंट इंसर्टेड ऑन द एंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द टिबिया पीसीएल इज इंसर्टेड ऑन द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द टिबिया लिगामेंट क्यों है ये बिकॉज़ इट इज कनेक्टिंग बोन टू बोन एंड व्हाई इट इज अपीयरिंग डार्क बिकॉज़ फाइब्रस स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक टेंडन्स एंड लिगामेंट्स अपीयर डार्क ऑन बोथ टी1 एंड टी2 वेटेड इमेज दिस इज अ एमआरआई इमेज and just to discuss that what we discussed in the class just to recap so this is the regular class so i am in the regular class i am showing that how to identify pcl 
and we discuss that this is a likely question in the exam okay so reason i'm showing you this is because you need to know where the questions are you know when if i see similar question then how where where is there uh, this in my resource so the most important resource for this year's inict word 2 dams class notes dams ini pyt don't miss out on these two things for the next inict as well for the neat pg it will be class notes and dvt and the pyq that we'll discuss in the dvt session again so dvt will be the game changer for neat pg for INI, it is INI PYT plus the class notes and don't forget the emergency room. Emergencies are a show short topic for your you know, INI exam and especially need PG as well. So the answer to the question definitely, you know, many of you are asking is PCL, posterior cruciate ligament was the answer. Okay. Now, some of you got confused between patellar tendon. Patellar tendon will be more anterior. Medial collateral ligament will be seen on the coronal view on the medial side of the knee joint. So this was posterior cruciate ligament directly from the your class notes. It is there in your image book, in your workbook. E even if you've joined a back to basics course, you would see this in your workbook. Okay. Now the third question that I could recollect from radiology was this. What is the most sensitive investigation for parathyroid imaging? And I'm sure you know you will appreciate that why it is important to learn from a subject matter expert. When I was discussing in my radiology class, if you remember from the radiology class, I told you for parathyroid imaging, okay, we should do a technetium sesta maybe spect scan because spect is three dimensional, a routine scan is two dimensional. For localization, we need to do a 3D scan. And I just want you to see that this is what we are writing in our actual classroom, never asked before. So this is not a PYQ. What, what if you see it is written in front of you in the class notes, it was technetium system, maybe spect because spect is three dimensional. We need to do a localization in parathyroid tumors. The answer will be spect. Spect has more uh, power than a routine imaging because a routine thickness technetium scan will be 2D, spect will be 3D. So the answer was technetium system, maybe spect. It is there in your class notes, it is there in your back to basics, it is there in the, you know, you can see the lecture here. It is there in your actual lecture on your back to basics. Okay. The reason I'm showing you this is because otherwise, you know, many people will come and say, Sir, aisa tha, aisa tha, aisa tha, wo aisa, matlab, rat liya tha, amne aisa zaruri nahi hai. Okay. Now, the third thing is that I want you to remember, sometimes your radiology knowledge can help you to cross talk. There was probably a gross anatomy image, which was similar to what we discussed in the CT when we talked about how to identify pulmonary artery on a CT scan. A similar image, but in the gross anatomy, not in radiology. But we could, you know, utilize it. And if you remember at length, I talked about how to identify fornix on an axial, coronal and a sagittal image in radiology. And we talked about how the fornix are connecting the hippocampi to the mammillary body, to the anterior thalamic nuclei. So this was also a side hit from the class notes not a direct hit but a side hit from the class notes so my only submission to you here is radiology in inict is more and more integrated i'm happy that we could do 100 percent strike rate here i'm happy we could cover everything in the class even the finer nuances like should we mark spec or should we mark scan we had covered in a regular class so i'm, I'm happy that we could help you there but i also want you to know every exam is an opportunity Okay, so if you gave this INICT and suppose the exam did not go up to your expectation, there will be another chance with the NEET PG exam. So every exam is an opportunity to learn about yourself, to learn about what I'm doing wrong and what are the topic, what are the zones which are my red zones, what are my green zones, can I work on the red zones more, can I improve for the next exam. So look at it as a learning opportunity. Don't look at it as a you know negative thought or a judgment on yourself and i again wish you all the best we will be you know recalling subject wise each subject questions will be recalled on the dams daily channel on youtube by different faculty members keep looking at them but always remember we are only answering on the basis of what we could recall from the students the choices were if you feel the choices were slightly here and there please let us know we will improve we will add them once we are totally finalized in the emedicos app on the eMedicos app, you can see there is a section called as PYQs in your question bank. 
there is a section called as PYQ ka BAP in your short courses and there is a section called as INI PYT where the previous year topics are discussed at length. This year the paper was not rich in PYQs, it was rich in PYT and I think that made the big difference. This year the most important resources according to the students were the DAMS class notes and INI PYT and I am again reassuring you and I am actually telling you with confidence, with challenge that the DVT will be the game changer for NEET PG. I can already see it with the effort of the faculty that they put in INI PYT, how much they could you know predict, especially you know some of the tough questions were directly from PYT. I assure you we will do the same magic in the you know NEET PG DVT also in December. We are starting the DVT in December, 12th of December, we will start in Delhi as well as online live. We look forward to meeting you there personally. I wish you all the best, keep rocking and join us on Telegram. DAMS official channel on Telegram to discuss more recalls and uh, you know the faculty members are already discussing the recalls and the answers. We will be happy to connect to you on Telegram as well. I look forward to meeting you. Keep reminding yourself.